So the root locus for the uncompensated system is shown in this figure where the settling time is 4 over sigma d, 4 over 1.205 which is 3.320. We also have the open loop poles at 0, negative 4 and negative 6. This one, after we determine the closed loop poles, we have this dominant pole, closed loop dominant poles and also this third pole. So, uh, based on the design requirement, <coughs> we need to reduce the settling time by 3 fold reduction. So, the old settling time divided by 3. So, this is the new settling time 1.107. From this new settling time, we can determine new sigma d based on this formula. So, new sigma d is 3.613. This is the sigma d, new sigma d. And based on this figure, we can um, determine. Uh, the theta of dominant pole based on this equation at cost damping ratio which is equal to 59.74 and using this figure we can determine uh, new omega d based on the value sigma d and also theta dp so using this formula, we can determine the new omega d which is 6.193 and we construct our new dominant pole which is compensated based on this design requirement by reduce the setting time by threefold. So our compensated dominant pole is minus 3.613 plus j 6.193. So this is our new dominant pole or compensated dominant pole with the same damping ratio 0.504 and then this is our old or uncompensated dominant pole and we have we still have the same uh, location of poles for from open loop and also closed loop. Okay now we need to start design a PD compensator by placing a zero that is not close to origin and also not too far from the origin we just add somewhere around here okay so now we need to determine the angle from each open loop poles uh, where the poles are zero negative four and negative six and also the angle from this zero compensator that we just added to this pole zero map so this one we label as theta one theta two so this is the zxc i label as theta zxc and this is theta three so we connect these poles and zxc to the new dominant pole negative 3.613 plus j 6.193 with the same damping ratio 0.504 and then we determine all the angles of theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 since we know the location the coordinate of these real poles 0 negative 4 and negative 6 to this coordinate of dominant poles the compensated dominant poles so for theta 1 is at tangent 9 6.193 over this one 6 minus the real parts of the dominant poles so we have 68.92 for theta 2 we have at tangent okay this uh, omega d 6.193 equal to 4 minus the real part of the dominant pole so we have 86.42 so for theta 3 since this is uh, at this radial line of the damping ratio so we know that the theta dp is based on this equation so theta 3 at the right side is 180 minus this theta dp which is at cost 0.504 which is 120.26 now, using this equation, the summation of theta 0 minus the summation of theta pole equal to 180. Then we can determine the theta 0 as this one. Okay, So all the theta 1, theta 2 and theta 3 that belongs to poles is this one. So we 
uh, take it to the right side and we have this one which is actually equal to 95.6 degree so using this formula <coughs> where this one 95.6 degree actually at this part the left part so to determine the theta z c is actually 180 minus theta z c 95.6 so you will have theta z c here using this equation theta 180 minus theta z c which is the answer for this angle is actually this omega d 6.193 divide by this is your sigma d nu 3.613 minus theta z c so we can determine theta z c in this case using this equation on and all the values of theta uh, sorry sigma d nu minus omega d nu divide by tangent 180 minus theta z c which is the angle at this part so our z c for p decompensator is equal to negative 3.006